hey, hey, Bible Activities for Kids family. I want to welcome you to episode number six of our Bible in a Year series. And today our story is about Joseph. It's found in Genesis 37. I'll give you some time to find Genesis 37 with your mom or dad. And then we're going to talk about this story together. Okay, I hope you have found it. And Genesis 37 tells a story about a young man named Joseph. Now, Joseph, he had 11 siblings. Now, I know some of you maybe have one or two siblings, but can you imagine 11 siblings? Can you imagine 12 kids in a house, parents? Wow. Well, that was Joseph's family. Now, Joseph was really special because he often had dreams. Now, one night, he dreamt that there was a bundle of wheat and all the other wheat gathered around his bundle of wheat and all the other bundles were bowing down to his bundle of wheat. And his brothers, they weren't too happy about that. They said, so what? You think you're going to be king over us? That you're going to rule over us? And they were very, very unhappy about it. And they hated Joseph because of it. Another night, Joseph went to bed again and he had another dream. This time he saw the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowing down to him. Now Joseph's father, he said, come on now, Joseph, what type of dream is this? Do you think that your mother, your brothers, and I are going to bow down to you? Now, all of these dreams caused Joseph's brothers to be jealous of him. But this wasn't the only reason they were jealous of him. They were also jealous of him because his father loved him more than all the other children. In fact, his father made it known by giving Joseph a coat of many colors. It was a gorgeous coat. And the brothers were not pleased with this. They hated their brother because of this. Now, one day, all the brothers, they went out to take care of sheep. And the father said to Joseph, your brothers, they've gone out to take care of sheep. I'm going to ask you just to go and just to make sure that they're doing okay. And so Joseph went to look for the brothers. Now, when Joseph was on his way, his brothers saw him coming and they started to think of all the bad things they could do to their brother. And boys and girls, they did a very bad thing to their brother Joseph. You know what they did? They sold their brother as a servant. Can you imagine that? Being so jealous of your brother or sister that you did something really bad like that? Well, this story, boys and girls, has an important lesson for us. It tells us that if we allow jealousy to grow within us, it can cause us to do bad things. You know, have you ever heard about the green-eyed monster? Yeah, that's what they call jealousy, the green-eyed monster. You look at your friends and you say, hey, my friend has this really nice shoe. I want a shoe like that. And your mom or dad might say, no, we don't have the money right now to buy you another pair of shoes. The ones you have are quite fine. And you might be oh so jealous of your friend. Or your friend might have this really cool toy that you had wanted all along and you can't have it. And you get jealous of your friend and you might want to do bad things if you keep thinking about what your friend has, looking on what they have and wanting it for yourselves. Now, God tells us, boys and girls, that we should not do this. We should not be jealous of what other people have. If someone has something, leave them along with that thing. You talk to God and let him know what you would like. The Bible says in James 4 verse 2 that we should not allow jealousy to take control of us. Instead, we should talk to God about what we need. And that's what I want to encourage you this week, boys and girls. Talk to God about what you want. Don't be jealous of others. I want to thank you for joining us for this episode. As usual, I invite you to subscribe to our channel. And if you go down to our description box, once you've subscribed, we do have a link there to our activity sheets for the week. 
I want to thank you and I want to wish you a wonderful day and a wonderful week as you dive into the Word of God. Thank you.